Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of scatter plots and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. Scatter plots are a type of graph that you can create which takes a look at two sets of data and tries to see if there is a relationship. It's going to look similar to a coordinate plane because you have two different coordinates. So in this case we're looking at the height and we're looking at the weight. We're going to plot those coordinates as if they were x and y coordinates. So you see our height here in inches is going to go across our bottom or x-axis. And then our weight is going to go up here. Weight in pounds is going to go up on our y-axis. But the difference is you see that we not only have numbers that don't necessarily start at the origin at a 0, 0. We start from 56 up to 70 and then from 65 up to 95 you'll notice that the interval is completely different. The height interval goes up by 2, whereas the weight interval goes up by 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to plot these points, and we're going to put them on our coordinate grid. And let's go ahead and put them on first, so 56 and 6. So 56 is right here, and 66 is just a hair above 65. So we're going to put that right there. And then 58 and 80. And what we're doing is we're trying to put these on as close as we can. We're not necessarily looking at precision because these are going to be scattered all over the place. That's why it's called a scatter plot. So we have 68 and 83 is going to be right around here. The fourth pair is going to be 56 and 75. So back to 56, you notice we have two different weights on this same height of 56 inches. And sometimes you'll get that with scatter plots. 60 and 74 is going to be right here, a little bit underneath 75. Our next point is 69, which is almost all the way over to the end, and 90, so that's going to be up top here. Then we have 70 and 94, so 70 is on the very end, and that's a little bit higher. It's going to be on the very final line. And we have 60 and 80, and you notice these are not in order. They're not necessarily in any kind of pattern. They're scattered all over the place. And we have 69 and 87. That's going to end up right there, kind of in the middle. So those are all of the points on this scatter plot. Now, what does that mean? Remember that a scatter plot looks at two different sets of data and tries to find a relationship. It can either be a strong relationship, a weak relationship, or no relationship at all. And in order to do that, we are going to draw a line of best fit. So what you're going to do is you are going to imagine that these dots are somehow connected. You're going to try to find something that is in between all of these, kind of like an average. And you see we have two groups here. We have a group down at the bottom and then a higher group up at the right. So I'm going to take a line here and I'm going to draw a, an invisible line. And I'm going to mark it right there in red. And that is my line of best fit. It doesn't necessarily go through any of the points except for maybe my 6990 at the end. But you see that the pattern is the lower the height, the lower the weight. And the higher the height, the higher the weight. And that makes sense. As students get taller, they typically get a little bit heavier. So you see we have a line of best fit and it does make sense. And there is a pretty strong relationship between height and weight. Let's say we took the same nine students. We kept their heights, but instead of measuring their weight, we counted the number of pencils they had in their desk. And we recorded that on a scatter plot. Let's see if there's any relationship between the student's height and the number of pencils they have. So you notice my x-axis stays the same. My y-axis changed to pencils ranging from 1 to 7. So we can plot these the same way. So the first student is going to be at 56 inches of height and one pencil. The second one is going to be 58 inches with two pencils. The next is going to be 68 with three pencils. So it seems like it does go up a little bit, at least initially, that the taller you get, the more pencils you have. But look at 56 with two. So now I've got two different students that are 56 inches that have different numbers of pencils, one with one, one with two. If I put the rest of the coordinates on there, I'm now looking for a line of best fit. Is there a relationship between your height and the number of pencils you have? And you see maybe we have a little bit going right here, but this, this, and this coordinate does not match up. So I would say we do not have a line of best fit. 